Let us now learn about congruency and similarity of triangles. I shall explain this to you with the help of uh, simple illustrations as shown on the board here. Right? If you look at the left hand side, we have got two congruent triangles. Right? The two triangles here are ABC and PQR. And on the right hand side are two similar triangles represented by ABC and PQR. So what exactly is meant by congruent triangles and similar triangles? And what is the difference uh, between these two cases? Let's understand. Let's look at congruent triangles here. As we see, we have two triangles ABC and PQR. Now if you look at the two triangles, they appear to be same in shape, right? The two triangles are similar in shape and also in size. The point here is the angles of the triangle ABC will be equal to the corresponding angles of the triangle PQR and also the sides of the triangle ABC will be equal to the corresponding sides of the triangle PQR. Such triangles are known as congruent triangles. They are exactly the same not only in shape but also in size. Right? The three angles are equal to the three corresponding angles of the second triangle and the three sides are equal to the three corresponding sides of the second triangle. So congruent triangles are those which are perfectly uh, same in shape as well as in size which means if we superimpose one of the triangles on the other they will coincide perfectly without any deviation. So two congruent triangles simply means same in shape and in size. So all the three angles are equal to the corresponding angles and all the three sides are also equal to the corresponding sides. Now let's look at similar triangles. What do you see? Two triangles ABC and PQR. Now clearly just through a glance we see that the triangles are similar in shape. Yes, the two triangles are similar in shape but not in size. So the basic difference between congruent triangles and similar triangles is that congruent triangles are similar in shape and in size right they have got the same shape and same size whereas similar triangles have only got a similar shape same shape but not the same size so if we clearly superimpose one of them on the other we find that they will not be coinciding with each other and uh, what do we see here i mean the point to be noted is the three angles of the triangle abc will be equal to the three corresponding angles of the triangle pqr but the three sides of the triangle ABC will not be equal to the three corresponding sides of the triangle PQR. So the other difference here is in congruent triangles the three angles are equal to the three corresponding angles in the second triangle and the three sides are equal to the three corresponding sides of the second triangle. But in similar triangles the angles are equal in both the triangles but the sides are not equal but they are proportional right the sides are not equal but they will be in proportion. So let's now see how do we check congruency of two triangles or when do we say that the two triangles are congruent. Well there are different ways of verifying this. The first one here is called SSS congruency right this is side 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 congruency which means if the three sides of the first triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of the second triangle then definitely the two triangles are congruent and that is called the SSS congruency. The second one here is SAS congruency. Now what is this SAS congruency? This is side angle side congruency. Now what does it mean here? If any two sides of the triangle ABC and the angle included between them are equal to the corresponding two sides of the triangle PQR and the ang angle included between them then also the two triangles are congruent. For example if you take the sides AB and AC right and the angle between them right so this side angle and side should be equal to the same corresponding sides and the corresponding angle so side PQ the angle between them and the side PR then if these two are equal we can say that the two angles are congruent so this is known as the side angle side congruency. And the third one here is uh, angle side angle congruency which says if any two angles of the first triangle and one of its sides are equal to the corresponding two angles and the corresponding side of the second triangle even then the two triangles are congruent. So we can take any two angles here angle A and angle B right and one of the sides let us say the side BC. Likewise in the second triangle the corresponding angles are angle P and angle Q and the corresponding side is QR. So if angle A, angle B and BC are equal to 
P, Q and Q R. The corresponding angles in the sides of the second triangle. Then also the two triangles are called congruent or the two triangles are exactly the same. Right. So side, side, side which means all the three sides of the first one equal to all the three sides corresponding sides of the second one. Side, angle, side which means any two sides of the first one and the angle included by those two sides should be equal to the corresponding two sides of the second one and the angle included by those two sides. And angle, side, angle says any two angles of the first one and one of its sides should be equal to the two corresponding angles of the second one and the corresponding side. In all these three cases we say that the two triangles are congruent. And as a special case when we talk about a right angle triangle, let's say if you consider two right angle triangles uh, A, B, C and another right angle triangle P, Q, R. Right? P, Q, R. Now the congruency of right angle triangle can be taken as the right angle hypotenuse and its side R H S right this is a special case or we can consider it as a fourth case here right so obviously when there are two right uh, angle triangles the angles are right angle right the corresponding angles are right angle so the right angle the hypotenuse their hypotenuse and the side any one of the sides have to be equal so right angle and right angle which is for sure the two hypotenuse have to be equal so c p and r q and any one side a b with p q or a c with p r if they are equal then the two triangles are congruent which means again if i put a b c on top of p q r it will coincide perfectly without any deviation so that's about congruency right which which talks about congruent triangles and uh, the different ways of verifying congruency between two triangles let us uh, now see uh, about similar triangles well we have already learned that similar triangles have same shape but they are different in size now the point to be noted in case of similar triangles is as i've already mentioned the corresponding angles are equal angle a equal to angle p angle b equal to angle q and angle c is equal to angle r but the corresponding sides are not equal instead they are in proportion now what does it mean if you look at the side ab is to pq this should be equal to bc is to qr and this will be equal to AC by PR. So the point is the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. AB and the corresponding side PQ. That ratio will be equal to BC and the corresponding side QR. The ratio will be equal to AC and the corresponding side PR ratio. And this will be equal to the perimeter of the two triangles. Right? The ratio of the perimeter of the two triangles. So perimeter of triangle ABC divided by perimeter of the triangle PQR. So the point to be noted here is that in case of similar triangles the ratios of the corresponding sides will be equal to the ratios of the two uh, perimeters of the two triangles. There is another equality that we see when it comes to similar triangles and this is about the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides right like if we say AB square by PQ square equals to BC square by QR square equals to AC square by PR square. So the ratio of the corresponding sides, the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides and this will be equal to the ratio of the two areas. So area of triangle ABC upon area of the triangle PQ so these are two important points about similar triangles point number one the ratio of perimeters of the two triangles will be equal to the ratio of any two corresponding sides AB by PQ or BC by QR or AC by PR and point two is about the area right the ratio of the areas of the two triangles will be equal to the ratio of squares of any two corresponding sides so AB square by PQ square or BC square by QR square or AC square by PR square also note that in case of similar triangles the ratio ratio of the areas of the two triangles is not only equal to the ratio of squares of any two corresponding sides but it is also equal to the ratio of squares of any two corresponding altitudes or any two corresponding medians. Now we uh, will learn about altitudes and medians in our next part of the discussion. So just make sure that you remember the point here that is the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of any two corresponding sides or any two corresponding altitudes or any two corresponding medians and I'm sure once we learn about altitude and medians you will be able to understand this point uh, without any difficulty.